good evening to the US and good morning, Wednesday morning early from Adelaide, Australia. We would like to thank the committee for selecting our study for the following presentation. Lateral lymph node dissection after neoadjuvant chemoradiotherapy may improve oncological outcomes in Western patients with low rectal cancer. This is a study conducted by hospitals from Australia, the Netherlands, and the US. Up to 20% of all low rectal cancer patients harbor abnormal lateral lymph nodes, indicated in this picture here on the right for their anatomical location. These abnormal lateral lymph nodes are associated with a high five-year local recurrence rate. They do comprise a treatment challenge. Treatment in the West normally consists of new age and chemoradiotherapy followed by TME resection. Here in blue, this means the lateral lymph nodes are normally not resected. With the aim to improve oncological outcomes, some Western centers perform a lateral lymph node dissection in addition to neoadjuvant chemoradiotherapy and TME resection. To date, however, no comparative data are available in Western patients. Therefore, we conducted the current study to find if a lateral lymph node dissection in addition to standard treatment of neoadjuvant chemoradiotherapy and TME rectal resection improves oncological outcomes. For this, we started an international multicenter cohort study collaborative. Patients were treated between 2009 and 2014 with at least three years follow-up. All patients had locally advanced low rectal cancer with abnormal lateral lymph nodes, at least five millimeters of short axis. We compared five centers from the Netherlands and Australia versus a dedicated cancer center in the US in the following way. The Dutch and Australian patients underwent standard treatment of neoadjuvant chemoradiotherapy followed by a TME rectal resection, and the US patients additionally underwent a lateral lymph node dissection during the TME resection. We could include 169 patients, 44 in the lateral lymph node dissection group, and 115 in the group who didn't undergo a lateral lymph node dissection. Patients who underwent a lateral lymph node dissection were younger and more often female. They had higher ASA scores and higher YPN stages. Patients with lateral lymph node dissection also had a larger median short axis of their lateral lymph node and received more adjuvant chemotherapy, 100 versus 30% of the patients who didn't undergo a lateral lymph node dissection. After a minimum of three years follow-up, the local recurrence rate was 3% for the lateral lymph node dissection group versus 11% for the patients who didn't undergo a lateral lymph node dissection. This was, however, not statistically significant. No differences were found in disease-free survival or overall survival. Next, we undertook a sub-analysis of patients who all underwent adjuvant chemotherapy. 44 patients in the lateral lymph node dissection group and 35 in the patients who didn't undergo a lateral lymph node dissection. This demonstrated a trend towards a lower, local, lower recurrence rate of 3% for the lateral lymph node dissection group versus 14% for the patients who didn't undergo a lateral lymph node dissection with a p-value of 0.06. Disease-free survival and overall survival were similar in this sub-analysis. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, a lateral lymph node dissection in addition to standard treatment of neoadjuvant chemoradiotherapy and TME rectal resection may improve oncological outcomes also in Western patients with a low rectal cancer with abnormal lateral lymph nodes. However, the current study is likely too small in sample size, and therefore we need larger data sets to prove this. Thank you for your attention. And again, good morning from the Royal Adelaide Hospital in Australia.